The name's arrogance disbelieved the truth, shouting, Good fortune, it must be good fortune. Release it to me, if you want to release it, why can't you draw your sword? Both remained unmoved. Wang, the young master, suspicious, muttered, Could it be that his strength isn't at the immortal Qi realm? Impossible. He recalled, in the previous teacher qualification assessment, he was only at the pinnacle of the Qi condensation realm. Even if he had a breakthrough, it would only be the bone tempering realm, not enough to disable me with just two fingers. Not only did Zhang Chuan not tightly hold onto the sword hilt, but he also passed it back and forth with just two fingers. While Wang Dao struggled to keep hold of the sword, Teacher Zhang shouted loudly, You, out of here. He kicked the imputed fellow out of the classroom. Dao Han, the housekeeper, who had been standing outside the door, hearing the commotion, thought, Such a commotion! It seems Wang Dao is teaching Zhang Zhuan a lesson. He smirked inwardly, pushing the door open to peek inside, thinking, Let's see how that trash feels now. But it was unclear who was teaching whom the lesson here. At that moment, Wang Dao was kicked straight out of the door along with his sword, hitting Dao Han squarely in the face. Both were stuck, carrying the classroom door with them as they flew away, hitting the wall. Dao Han was crushed behind, and Wang, the young master, stood still, his eyes wide in shock. Teacher Zhang dusted his hands off and said, All right, let's continue. Disciples below marveled and exclaimed, that was a full force strike from a quadruple bone tempering realm cultivator, blocked effortlessly with just a hand and easily thrown out. Yuan Tao thought, isn't the teacher supposed to be the weakest in the whole school? Wang Yin speculated, couldn't it be that the teacher is hiding his true strength? Zhao Ya, the young miss, also had similar thoughts. Dao Han, rubbing his bandaged head, asked, young master Wang Dao, weren't you just disciplining Zhang Zhuan? Why? Wang, the young master, scratched his head awkwardly and replied, I just had an insight into a new cultivation technique. Unfortunately, I wasn't careful during cultivation, resulting in a backlash. Suspicious, he continued. A new cultivation technique? Have you exposed that guy yet? He hastily defended himself. I intended to, but there are rules in the academy. We're not supposed to disturb others during class. So let's wait here. Dao Han, Puzzled, asked. Wait, if we're waiting, then I happen to have something to ask young master Wang Dao. He replied, please. But inwardly, he was cautious. As long as he doesn't ask about earlier. Luckily, Dao Han asked about something else. Are there any female teachers in the academy with Bai in their names? Is she being pursued by anyone? Young master Wang replied. With the character Bai, there's only the academy goddess. Miss Shen Bai Ru. As for someone pursuing her, recently it's just teacher Shang Bin. However, this despicable Zhang Zhuan has also pursued her before. Old Dao Han muttered, Zhang Zhuan, Shang Bin, reflecting inwardly. So now, all I need to determine is whether that Shang Bin had any conflicts with Zhang Zhuan yesterday, then I can confirm if it's him. Inside another teaching area, Shang Bin's voice rose, Zhang Zhuan, has your student been deceived by him? Kelk Xiong nodded, replying, That's right, so I want to invite your esteemed grandfather to deal with him. After all, he's the head teacher here. Teacher Shane Bin angrily slammed the table and said, There's no need for my grandfather to come. His face full of malice, he continued, I've wanted to discipline Zhang Zhuan for a long time. He thought again, But getting physical will surely leave a bad impression on Shen Bai Ru. Now I can use this as an excuse to deal with him. He stood up and said to Kao Xiong, Let's go. With other teachers, I might ask for my grandfather's help, but for this useless Zhang Zhuan, we'll directly demand him. If he doesn't comply, cripple him. Upon arrival, they were fortunate to encounter Wang Dao and Dao, the steward, who were outside. Shang Bin asked, Young Master Wang, aren't you cultivating at your grandfather's place? Why are you here? Surprised, he called out, Teacher Shang Bin. He explained, my sister was deceived into coming here to study. I'm planning to take her back. Hearing this, Teacher Shang's face turned sour. Zhang Xuan dared to deceive Miss Wang. Looks like he needs a lesson. Young Master Wang gestured to the side, introducing. This is the chief steward of Zhao Cheng, Zhu Bai Yu Cheng, named Dao Han. His daughter, Miss Dao Ya, was also deceived. 
Teacher Chang Bin asked in surprise. Dao, the steward too. He continued, If that's the case, then come with me. Let's see how I teach him a lesson. He truly lacks morals. Inside the classroom, Zhang Xuan was focused on teaching. Hong Hao Ninefold Profound Secrets Although it's the most basic technique in Hong Than Academy, there are many issues with it. For example, the disciples below were intrigued, thinking, Teacher Zhang's lectures are so comfortable and enjoyable. He can quickly point out flaws in techniques in martial arts. It's truly astonishing. After a while, they still couldn't calm their breaths. Even if it's our fathers, in front of Teacher Zhang Zhuan, they're just frogs at the bottom of a well. The disciples beside also acknowledge. That's right, even though we can't imagine how. Zhang Zhuan furrowed his brow as he taught. What's going on with them? The group below gleaned with admiration, saying, Teacher Zhang's level is way too high. Just then, for the third time, the classroom door was disturbed. With a bunch of troublemakers crowding in, Teacher Zhang suspected. Teacher Shang Bin. Teacher Cao Chong. What are they doing here? Teacher Shang spoke up. Zhang Zhuan. I can't believe it's only been a day, and you not only dare to deceive Teacher Cao Chong students, but also dare to enchant Miss Wang Yin and Miss Dao Ya. You really have guts. He raised an eyebrow and suggested, I'm teaching right now. Whatever it is, wait until class is over. Shang Bin sneered contemptuously. So arrogant. He stepped forward threateningly. Zhang Zhuan, you must make these students stop learning immediately. If not, I'm afraid you'll be teaching from a wheelchair this semester. Zhang Zhuan questioned sternly. Are you planning to use force? Don't you know the academy prohibits teachers from fighting? Shang Bin smirked in response. Rules are made by people. Dealing with others, I'd worry about getting punished by the academy. But dealing with you, do you really think the academy would stand up for a useless person like you? He continued. Is it because of something I said yesterday that offended you, so you deliberately sought me out for trouble? Aren't you afraid that Miss Shen Bai Ru will get angry? He sneered. Consider yourself lucky that I bothered to educate you. If I dared to teach you, then naturally I'm not afraid of your empty words. Dal Han, enraged, thought. He pursued Miss Shen Bai Ru and had a conflict with Zhang Zhuan yesterday. He shouted loudly, The one who attacked me last night, it must be you. Teacher Shang confused by the sudden turn of events, was then met with a punch to the face, clutching his nose as blood gushed out, hastily asking, What are you doing? Have you mistaken me for someone else? Dao, the steward? Why did you suddenly attack me? Dao Han, burning with anger, retorted, What did I do? I don't know what you're talking about. Shang Bin pointed accusingly, I don't care what you don't know, but if you dare to use force again, I won't be polite. The steward challenged, then don't expect any politeness from me either, a thousand times over. Shang Bin frowned, unable to argue, as Dao Han lunged forward, punching him to the ground. Kevok Xiong turned back to Wang Dao, asking, What's going on? Wang, the young master, shook his head. I don't know. Let's just stop them first. Only Zhang Zhuan here understood what was happening. He chuckled inwardly, just as I predicted. Chaos has ensued. Young Master Wang rushed forward to intervene. Steward Dao, calm down. Let's talk this out slowly. Gritting his teeth, Dao Han spoke loudly. Let me go. I'm not finished with him yet. Teacher Shane's face was swollen, with a few teeth knocked out, as he cried and cursed. Despicable. Even my grandfather has never hit me. I'll fight you to the death. Kao Xiong hurriedly advised. Teacher Shang, please calm down. The situation had escalated enough, and it was time for Zhang Zhuan to step in. He spoke up, that's enough. Zhang Zhuan commanded them, if you have any grudges, settle them outside the classroom. Otherwise, I'll report this to the school authorities. At the mention of reporting to the school authorities, teacher Shang became worried. My reputation is tarnished now. I can't let other teachers see me like this. He pointed his finger, adding, very well, remember that. As the class ended, the disciples left the room. Yu and Tao remarked cheerfully. Today's class was quite exciting, huh? Zheng Yang agreed. Indeed, especially with Teacher Shang and the old steward. Liu Yang chimed in. And the power of Teacher Zhang. Truly eye-opening. Zhao Ya, walking behind them, asked Dao Han. Uncle Dao, how are you feeling today? He scratched his head, laughing awkwardly. 
I, I, I. When it came time for the final farewell, Wang Yin waved her hand and said, Goodbye, Master Zhang. Zhang Chuan stood at the classroom door watching as Miss Wang left. Wang Dao, her elder brother, caught her by the hand and said, Come, let's go back to the family. Miss Yin asked, Why, elder brother? I don't need to go home now that I live at the school, do I? Wang, the young master, replied, It's not that I want you to come back, but father wishes to see you. This statement caught her by surprise, leaving her silent. Teacher Shang, infuriated, walked away cursing. Despicable, utterly despicable. Without reason, being assaulted like this. Today, Shang Bin feels utterly disgraced. He covered his face, cursing. Dao Han, you must receive disciplinary action. Xiao Xiong, following behind, added, Indeed, and Zhang Zhuan. Those two are definitely of the same milk. Teacher Shang affirmed, Indeed, I have never wronged Dao Han. His actions against me must be because I intended to educate Zhang Zhuan. He remembered something and turned back to ask, By the way, you're certain that Liu Yang fellow didn't willingly choose to apprentice himself to Zhang Zhuan, did he? As Cao Xiang student, he was sure he understood best. He replied, Indeed, I can confirm, it was definitely not willingly chosen. The individual contemplating further remarked, Very well, if you're certain like that, then now you go seek permission to cultivate the heart and will. He turned away, not forgetting to instruct. Remember, when seeking permission, escalate the punishment to the highest level, preferably expelling that Zhang Zhuan. Inside the Wang clan's ancestral hall, a voice thundered, Have you realized your mistake? Wang Yin knelt on the ground, listening to her father's scolding. Daughter, anyone who refuses to pay respects must face consequences. Are you regretting it now? Miss Wang hurriedly explained, Father, actually Teacher Zhang is not as you think. He is very talented. He clenched his teeth upon hearing his daughter's words and asked, Is he talented? She nodded happily, and he retorted, He's worthless, capable only of leading others astray. What right does he have to be your teacher? Wang Hu turned back to speak to his daughter. Choosing a teacher is a matter of freedom. I never intended to interfere. He raised his voice. But you don't know what level of competence this Zhang Zhuan possesses. The elders nodded in agreement. Indeed, Wang Yin, you must heed the advice of the clan elders. Don't let yourself be beguiled by that Zhang Zhuan. He continued, look at Wang An, who chose Master Liu as his teacher. Just after one lesson, his strength increased by 40%. Miss Wang replied gently, but teacher Zhang Zhuan can gently help me increase my strength by over 100% and even heal my leg. The elder remained skeptical. Your leg? Even teacher Yu and Yu couldn't heal it. How could that useless guy manage it? Some of them chuckled among themselves. Strength increased by 100%. Healing your leg? What a joke. Miss Wang Yin, even if we haven't heard him teach, we dare assert that the useless fellow couldn't possibly heal your leg. She angrily trembled, shouting loudly, You've never attended teacher Zhang Zhuan's class. What basis do you have to judge his teaching? I absolutely refused to stop learning from him. The elders fell silent for a few seconds after hearing this, then burst into laughter, mocking her. Mr. Wang continued scolding his daughter. What nonsense are you talking about? Today, you must stop learning. If not, don't step into this house again. Her refusal had no effect on these people. Wang Yin stepped outside, her father threatening. If you walk out of this house, don't even think about coming back. The young lady persisted, saying, Right here, there's a real strength-testing stone. If you don't believe, then look here. She took a deep breath, tightened her grip on the handle, and punched the strength-testing stone, which registered 120 pounds of force. Then, using her foot, she kicked the stone, registering an impressive 205 pounds of force. The elders were astonished and began discussing among themselves. What's with the sudden 120 pounds of power? Yesterday, when she left, it only measured 53 pounds. Moreover, Wang Yin's kick is incredibly powerful, registering 205 pounds. Miss Wang leaned against the stone, proudly stating, All of this progress is thanks to the guidance of teacher Zhang Zhuan. Wang Huan rushed over and asked his daughter, So has he also healed your leg? She nodded, That's correct. Her father continued questioning, Can you tell us about what he taught you? At this point, she felt a little melancholic as she replied, Certainly, 
but Teacher Zhang's teachings are profound, and I only remember a bit. After recounting what she had learned, the head of the Wang family pondered, gathering Ke, cultivating Ke, a cultivator capable of articulating such mystical theories. The elders exclaimed in admiration, These are the teachings of a great master, making us suddenly enlightened. If we had heard these things earlier, we wouldn't be stopping here. Father Wang Yin hastily told his daughter, Wang Yin, you mustn't stop attending teacher Zhang Zhuang's class. Tears of joy streamed down his face as he continued. Moreover, Wang Yin asked teacher Zhang if he could accept Wang Dao and Wang An. Furthermore, if possible, inquire if I could become his student. The elder hurriedly interjected, Wang Huan, you're the head of the clan. How could you become a student of a low-ranking teacher? If this were to spread, what face would our Wang clan have? He chuckled wryly. Indeed, that's true. However, shortly after, the seniors changed their tune and asked the granddaughter, Wang Yin, it seems we're not like the ordinary elders anymore, and we no longer represent the face of the Wang clan. Can you help us ask if your teacher Zhang is willing to take on disciples? The elder Wang Huan scolded, You people have even thicker skin than I do. Wang Yin, who was attending school, chuckled and said, Well, meanwhile, at the scroll repository, Zhang Zhuan walked and contemplated. Though my cultivation has progressed significantly, my understanding of martial arts is still lacking. I must make the most of my study time, otherwise I won't be able to teach my students effectively. As he reached the door, he bowed respectfully. Elder Mo irritated, Elder Mo asked, What brings you here again? He chuckled and replied, I want to peruse some martial arts scrolls, sir. The elder immediately responded, Today, that's not possible. Teacher Zhang inquired further, but why not? From a distance, the gentle voice of the academy's top beauty resonated. Elder Mo, Shen Bai Ru continued, I'm here to select some books. He greeted her with a smile. Ah, it's Teacher Shen, please come in. Teacher Shen smiled graciously. Thank you, Elder Mo. Observing this, Zhang Zhuan felt unjust and asked, Elder Mo, it's unfair. We both want to access the scrolls, but why does she get to enter while I don't? Elder Mo turned to reply, Teacher Shen is here to study, whereas you, Zhang Zhuan interjected, but I'm here to study too. Shen Bai Ru pondered, isn't it because Zhang Zhuan likes me? Yet today, he doesn't even strike up a conversation when he sees me. She then spoke up to help him, Elder Mo, I believe Teacher Zhang truly intends to study. It's better to let him in rather than block him like this. It might give other teachers a bad impression. Elder Mo, the overseer of the scroll repository, waved his hand, saying, If Teacher Chan has spoken up, then I'll allow you in. He frowned warningly, but if I catch you causing trouble, I'll teach you a lesson. Zhang Chuan smiled gratefully, clasping his hands together. Thank you. Shen Bai Ru responded, No need for formalities. He then pushed the door open, saying, I'll go in first. Teacher Shen was slightly surprised thinking, he missed this chance to strike up a conversation with me again. Inside, he pondered, I didn't expect accessing the scroll repository, this time, to be so troublesome. There's probably no way I'll be able to get in next time. Teacher Zhang surveyed his surroundings. This scroll repository isn't too large. Judging by the bookshelves, if I'm quick, I might be able to finish browsing in a day. If that's the case, I won't need to come here again. He immediately entered a focused state. Enough talk. Let's get started. Elder Mo, sitting outside, felt irritated hearing the sound of books being opened, muttering, Here we go again. This time, he didn't let it slide. He stomped his foot on the ground and grunted disapprovingly. This guy dares to act like nothing's wrong. As he leisurely stepped into the scroll repository, Zhang Zhuan had already browsed through several bookshelves. Elder Mo approached him and asked, let me see what you're looking for. At that moment, Zhang Zhuan picked up a book from the shelf titled Growing Purple Wisteria Root, leaving Elder Mo astonished. How to grow purple wisteria root? What kind of book is he looking for? The next book he picked up was Dual Cultivation of Yin and Yang, followed by Yin-Yang Harmony, Secret Art of Refining Mystical Pills, and Important Notes on Key Cultivation. He flipped through each book, Elder Mo seized with anger, thinking, He's definitely here to stir up trouble. Wait until he comes out. I'll have to give him a piece of my mind. Shen Bai Ru, observing the situation, 
thought with surprise. Could it be that Elder Mo isn't letting him in because of this? Furrowing her brows, she considered another possibility. Or perhaps he knows that I've also come to the scroll repository today, intending to draw attention to myself. I won't allow any disrespectful behavior in this scroll repository. Deciding to approach Zhang Zuan to clarify, Teacher Shen spoke up. Teacher Zhang, what are you doing? Zhang Zhuan didn't even bother to look at her, replying, Reading books. Arms crossed, she retorted, Reading books? If you think this is cool, then please leave the scroll repository. Shen Bai Ru won't fall for this trick. He continued reading, unfazed. I know. Teacher Shen persisted. That won't work. Despite her protest, Zhang Zhuan remained focused on his reading, ignoring her presence behind him. Teacher Shen shouted loudly, Can't you hear what I'm saying? The more you act like this, the more I dislike you. Annoyed, Teacher Zhang turned back and scolded, Are you out of your mind? He raised his voice. If you have nothing better to do, go doodle somewhere else. Don't disturb me here. Shen Bai Ru exclaimed in shock. Zhang Zuan, dare you speak to me like that? She resolved. Fine. It seems you've made up your mind to pretend. Let's see how long you can keep up the act. As the moon rose high into the night sky, light still illuminated the scroll repository. Shen Bai Ru had been observing Zhang Zuan for hours, thinking, it's been six, seven hours already and he's still flipping through books. If his only intention is to draw attention to me, he should stop now. Closing the final book, Zhang Zhuan muttered, Finally, I've gone through all the books in the scroll repository. I've also found techniques suitable for Zhao Ye's lunar body. Turning back, he noticed Teacher Shen still engrossed in her reading, simply thinking, I've been reading for seven hours straight, and she's still here. Well, that's her business. With that, he left the scroll repository declaring, mission accomplished, time to go. But as he reached the door, Elder Mo intercepted him, ordering, stop right there. Elder Mo, furious, declared vehemently, Zhang Zhuan, from now on, the scroll repository will not welcome you anymore. Don't come here tomorrow. Though he had finished reading all the books and had no further business there, Teacher Zhang still felt compelled to ask, why? The scroll repository overseer snapped angrily, do you think I'm blind? Reading without taking notes or studying. Just flipping through randomly. Who reads books like you? Zhang Zhuan found it amusingly absurd. So I'm upsetting him by reading too fast, huh? Well, I've finished reading anyway. Might as well own up to it. He replied, All right then. Consider me here to cause trouble. I'm leaving. Shen Bai Ru called out from behind. Wait, teacher Zhang. Perhaps someone else wanted to bother him again. He retorted, What now? Teacher Shen smiled and asked, If you've been reading for so long, you must remember some things, right? He turned back and asked bluntly, What do you mean? She continued, Earlier, I saw you had glanced at Forbidden Dan Cultivation, so I wanted to consult you about the content of the book. Teacher Shen frowned and thought, Aren't you pretending to read? Wait a moment, if you can't answer later, I'll see how you keep pretending, she thought. It turned out she just wanted to consult about the book. Zhang Zhuan coldly said, Fine, if you don't understand something, quickly speak up. I have to go home for dinner later. She felt annoyed, thinking, His attitude makes it seem like I'm begging him. But she continued to smile and asked, The medicinal ingredients are difficult to obtain. The pill refinement process is complex. I don't quite understand this phrase. I wonder if Teacher Zhang can explain it to me. He interrupted her. That's incorrect. Teacher Zhang explained, the correct phrase is medicinal ingredients meld in the furnace, forming a miraculous pill with great difficulty, which means that once the ingredients are condensed during pill refinement, it's impossible to refine the pill. The question itself is wrong, yet you didn't feel embarrassed to ask me. Instead of feeling embarrassed by being corrected, Shen Bai Ru felt even more surprised. She intentionally misread the phrase to mislead him, yet he could see through it and gave the correct answer. She thought, could he really remember all about forbidden Dan cultivation just by flipping through the books? As she was about to ask another question, the overseer Mo interrupted, Wait a moment, Teacher Shen. Forbidden Dan cultivation is the most basic method for countless alchemists. Even if you're not an alchemist, you'd know a little about it. He wanted to ask a more challenging question. Just as well, I have a question I'd like to ask. Harmonize the key of heaven. 
harmonize the hearts of all things. How would you explain this? Zhang Zhuan arrogantly responded, You don't even know this. This is the most basic principle of cultivation. Let me enlighten you. It means that as the key circulates within the body, the state of the mind encompasses the understanding of all things in the world. This phrase is recorded in the Blood K Treatise by Senior Bai Ming, in the 27th verse, on page 69 of the book. Mo listened attentively, his eyes gleaming with surprise as he remained silent, thinking, this is the question that stumped us a few days ago. Even I couldn't explain it, and we couldn't find the answer in the scroll repository. How did he? He quickly spoke up. Wait for a moment. Teacher Shen, please come with me. Shen Bai Ruv added, I'll go too. They still doubted. Judging by his tone, we should confirm it. Arriving at pile of books, Teacher Shen spoke up. This is it. They examined the blood key treatise, and upon flipping through it, it was indeed identical. They recalled, a few days ago, that elder flipped through many books but couldn't find it. However, it's recorded in this rare book, a book he must have read too. Zhang Zhuan, waiting outside and hungry, called out, Mo, if there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Teacher Shen hastily called, Wait, Teacher Zhang. Leaving Mo alone, slumping down on the ground, bewildered, he suspected, is he really a teacher taking the teacher's exam? How does he know this knowledge? And if he's taking the exam, then am I. Teacher Zhang, noticing her slight discomfort, grumbled, what else do you want? I'm hungry and want to eat. Teacher Shen cheerfully replied, I haven't eaten either. Perhaps in a past life, Teacher Zhang lacked IQ. He thought, she's asking for advice and I'm just helping her. Does she really want to eat that badly? He continued, if you're hungry, go eat by yourself. Why call me? Shen Bai Ru thought to herself, when someone invites me, I decline, and when I give you a chance, you, besides, who talks to a beautiful lady like that. That's what she thought, but she still awkwardly smiled and insisted, no, I want to, I'm inviting you, come on. At the mention of a meal invitation, poor teacher Zhang Zhuan perked up his ears, returning cheerfully, but with a demanding tone. All right, but I'll only dine on extravagant fare. Simple dishes like noodles or dumplings. Count me out. Teacher Shen was at a loss for words. Let's go. Just come long. The Heavenly Way bookstore could discern all the flaws in martial arts techniques, the entirety of human meridians, yet failed to perceive a girl's emotions. Zhang Zhuan, oblivious to simple matters, was about to make the number one beauty of Hong Thine Academy vomit blood. The two walked together, the moonlight casting their shadows one after another. Bai Ru was perplexed. This guy's been with me all day and hasn't said a word. She turned back and called out, Hey. She was astonished by Zhang Zhuan's inexplicable demeanor. This was the second heaven's mind scene, as calm as water. Martial artists, besides cultivating their kai, valued their mental state above all. The higher the mental state, the faster the cultivation, and the greater the achievements. She looked at him thinking. But cultivating the mind is much harder than martial arts. Even the headmaster of the academy has achieved this level. She pondered, could it be that during the teacher qualification exams, he pretended to absorb everyone's ridicule, to cultivate his mind, to break into the second heaven's mind scene, daring to pretend to be a pig to eat a tiger? Let's see how I expose you later. Teacher Shen was still lost in her thoughts, while teacher Zhang was starving, to the point of delirium. Zhang Xuan suddenly realized that he had entered the realm of second heaven. He looked at his hand and pondered, just now, I only felt this place was beautiful, was momentarily bewildered, and now, it's second heaven's realm. He gripped his hand tightly, thinking, however, it's true that I've transcended life and death, coupled with cultivating heavenly footwork techniques, and the purity of my vital energy has reached such a level quickly, which is also normal. Both of them went to a large restaurant where the bustling voices of people filled the air. Inside, someone was saying, Xiao Wer, bring another jar of celestial spirit wine. Our guests are here. Serve it up. Outside the door, someone said, Guests, please come inside. Don't argue with me. I'll treat you next time. Zhang Zhuan looked up in amazement, thinking, She invited us. I thought we could just casually go to some small eatery, didn't expect to come here. Shen Bai Ru beside him was also contemplating, Zhang Zhuan. Let's see how long you'll pretend. Seeing them, Xiao Er hurriedly said, 
please come inside. This is indeed the most luxurious wine restaurant in Holm Than Academy, truly deserving of its reputation. Surprisingly, they encountered someone familiar. Kao Xiang said while pouring wine, Young Master Shang, please don't be angry anymore. I've requested to inquire about the heart examination, and tomorrow the academy will go to investigate Liu Yang. Zhang Zhuan will definitely be punished. He continued, As for that lunatic, this time he borrowed the Shang elder's pet. Tomorrow he will surely be disciplined. Shang Bin furrowed his brows and added, But Bao Tian Shai is my grandfather's pet. Now I want to command it. Afraid it won't obey, Master Teo suggested. Well, that's not necessarily the case. As long as we tempt it with delicious food and wine, it will obediently listen to us. Xiao Er brought out a plate of fragrant fish and said, Apologies for the wait, young Master Shang. He cheerfully asked, Young Master Shang, is your meal to your satisfaction? Anything else you desire? Please feel free to ask. He then reminded, I've brought Bao Ti and Xie to the backyard. Remember to feed it properly. Xiao Er promptly replied, no problem at all. Seeing someone leaving, Tao Xiong inquired, Young Master Shang, I've heard that Red Sky Pavilion holds considerable influence. Wu, who manages it, isn't usually so attentive to customers. Why the enthusiasm this time? Shang Bin arrogantly explained, Red Sky Pavilion's influence stems from the strength of its owner, Elder Hong Hao, who used to contend for the head position, but later stepped down for unknown reasons. He continued, the warm reception is because Elder Hong Hao is a close friend of my grandfather, so Wu treats me accordingly. Master Kao nodded understandingly. Ah, I see. Suddenly, he noticed something and quickly pointed, saying, Young Master Shang, isn't that Zhang Zhuan and Teacher Shen? The young man turned abruptly and asked, Teacher Shen, why is she accompanying that useless fellow? I've invited her several times, but she never agrees. Seems like she doesn't like me. Seb Xiong hurriedly interjected, Young Master Shang, there's no need for that. He then schemed up another plan, saying, I have an idea that can make Teacher Shen see Zhang Zhuan clearly and also allow you to demonstrate your dignity. He immediately asked, Do you have a solution? Meanwhile, Zhang Zhuan, seemingly unconcerned about the scheming person, laid his chopsticks down on the table, happily indulging in the food and drink, saying, Eating and drinking to my heart's content, so delightful. Throughout the meal, he only focused on eating, paying no attention to Teacher Shen. Bai Ru bowed her head, sighed, and called, Service, the bill please. Wu, the manager, came out and said, Greetings, esteemed guests. The total is 1280 gold coins. Bai Ru, puzzled, asked, 1280? Why is it so expensive? I recall ordering the most expensive dish earlier, and it was only 100 gold coins. He smiled cordially and replied, My apologies. That celestial spirit wine is 1,200 gold coins. She queried, But didn't you bring up that wine yourselves? At that time, I thought it was complimentary. Upon hearing this, Wu's demeanor changed drastically, faster than flipping a book, and he retorted, So you didn't know it had a price. If you truly didn't want it, you could have asked beforehand. Since you didn't say anything, we assumed you knew the price, so we didn't say much. Teacher Chen's face darkened as she began to speak. You? But she didn't want to engage further, adding, I don't have much money today, so either put it on credit, or I'll return later with the payment. The server slammed his hand on the table, his attitude stern, and replied, If you can't afford it, don't order. If you've ordered, then pay up. Are you looking for a free meal? That's not happening here. Indeed, it seemed like a scenario where the hero would rescue the damsel in distress with young master Shang Bin playing the lead. He approached, patting his shoulder, and asked, What's going on? Why the commotion, Manager Wu? He coordinated surprisingly well. Greeting, so it's young master Shang. The guy grinned as he recounted. So, they were eating without any money to pay. Young master Shang, upon hearing this, asked again, No money to pay. He turned to look at Zhang Zhuan in front of him, mocking him relentlessly. Teacher Zhang, not to pick on you, but if you have no money, don't act generous. Moreover, it's your own loss of face, but why drag Teacher Shen into it? Zhang Zhuan, who had been sitting quietly until now, suddenly exclaimed, What? Shane Bin continued to berate him solo. Don't say any more, Teacher Zhang Zhuan. 
I'm very disappointed with your pretentious generosity. While he smirked triumphantly, he thought, Earlier, I told manager Wu to arrange the wine that he couldn't pay for. Then, when Zheng Chuan was about to pay, I generously intervened like a hero saving a damsel in distress. Meanwhile, manager Wu, standing behind them, was trying to signal, My plan is as good as it gets. Shen Bai Ru will surely appreciate my generosity. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Sao Xiong, observing from behind, was puzzled. It was indeed like killing two birds with one stone, but what kind of birds they were remained unclear. Shen Bai Ru, infuriated, stood up and exclaimed, Master Shang Bin. He happily turned back, thinking, She's standing up just as expected. But as he turned, the beautiful lady was blazing with anger, questioning, Who's pretending to be generous? Young Master Shang hastily defended himself, Teacher Shen, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Zhang Duan. He has no money yet. He's inviting others to eat. Truly disgraceful, damaging the dignity of a teacher. The more he spoke, the more he fueled the fire. Zhang Chuan sat up straight and said, I wasn't the one invited. It was Miss Shen. Upon hearing this, young Master Shang's face turned pale as he asked, What? He hadn't anticipated this scenario. Miss Shen inviting me. That's impossible. I've invited her to dine countless times, but she always declines. Now Shen Bai Ru is inviting Zhang Zhuan to dine. Shen, the beauty, reiterated his words. Pretend to be generous. Lose face. Damage the reputation of a teacher. What is this? Shang Bin quickly refuted. That's not what I meant. Cao Xiong behind him whispered. Young Master Shang, pay up. Help settle the bill quickly. He then awkwardly continued. Actually, what I meant was... He slammed a bag of coins onto the table, saying, Miss Shen's debt, I'll pay it. Wu intervened with concern. Young Master Shang smirked triumphantly. So Miss Shen, aren't you going to succumb to this generosity and power of my money? In complete defiance, Shen Bai Ru took out a jade pendant from her side, handed it to the server, and declared loudly, I don't need this. I'll sell my debt myself, so no one can accuse me of pretending to be generous in the future. Wu awkwardly interjected. This. Um. She continued. This jade ornament is worth at least 5,000 gold coins. I'll leave it here. Young Master Shang fidgeted beside her as Bai Ru handed the item to the server, instructing. Wait for me to return with the money, and then redeem it. Master Shang hurriedly turned back to consult his strategist. Miss Shen is completely deviating from the plan. What do I do now? He hadn't considered this scenario. How could he come up with a strategy at this point when Zhang Chuan was already intervening? Removing the toothpick from his mouth, Zhang Zhuan remarked, There's no need for such valuable collateral. Standing up, he continued, This meal is not worth it. Teacher Zhang stood in front of Miss Shen, cautioning, You're giving him money. Do you want to be deceived by him? Wu, upon hearing the words deceived, immediately became furious, rebuking, Red Sky Pavilion has always conducted business uprightly, and you're accusing us of deception. If you can't speak sensibly, don't dream of leaving here today. Despite the tense situation, the other two seem pleased. Wu's getting worked up, and Zhang Zhuan's causing trouble. Shen Bai Ru, standing behind, was astonished with the power of Red Sky Pavilion. And Zhang Zhuan openly behaves like this. Isn't he just seeking trouble for himself? He coldly retorted. If you want me to speak, then I won't be polite. He began critiquing each dish brought to the table that day. This dish of fragrant and robust ingredients should have been marinated in jasmine for three days, but you only marinated it for half a day. So while the flavor may not differ much, its medicinal properties are reduced by half, making it ineffective if consumed in large quantities. The tavern's guests had gathered to eavesdrop, and one latecomer asked, What's going on? A person who arrived earlier responded after a few seconds. Don't know, but I heard Wu getting accused of deception. He pointed to another dish, saying, The supposedly naturally caught pink mullet is actually farmed. Only farmed mullet have tails this small. Wu clenched his teeth in frustration, thinking, These are changes I made secretly, but even culinary experts can't tell. How is this possible? He gestured and exclaimed, You're talking nonsense. These dishes are just randomly similar. I want clear evidence. In his mind, he calculated, I can't admit to this, or both Red Sky Pavilion and I are finished. 
Zhang Zhuan furrowed his brows and asked, Is there any solid evidence? It was time for his 1200 gold coin wine. He picked up the bottle, poured it onto the ground, and challenged, If this wine is truly celestial nectar. Wu's face paled as he thought, This wasn't part of the plan. The other man then produced a tiny flame, smiling as he said, Then it's truly worth 1200 gold coins. Zhang Xuan promptly threw the flame into the wine puddle beneath the floorboards, igniting a bright fire and releasing a pungent smell. The surrounding guests quickly covered their noses, exclaiming, It stinks! Why does it smell so bad? He explained, This smell is similar to brimstone, indicating that celestial nectar, although beneficial when consumed in moderation, contains harmful impurities. This foul odor is the clearest evidence. Hearing this, the guests erupted in uproar. Shaman, I've been drinking here for three years, it's a scam. Refund, refund, refund. Faced with the fierce public outcry, Wu fell silent, pondering, how did things turn out like this? He suspected, that guy isn't just some useless person. Moreover, how does he even know about counterfeit celestial nectar? Could he be a culinary expert? Right, Hong Hao, the head. If he finds out about this, then I will. Shane Bin asked bewilderedly, What's going on? His comrade, Kao Xiong, standing beside him, also cluelessly replied, I have no idea. Wu, the local official, was boiling with anger. If it weren't for these two today. Master Shang, still seemingly innocent and curious, asked Han. Wu, what's going on? He angrily snapped, Don't ask me anything, just scram. He shouted, Both of you, get lost, don't let me see you again. They left in confusion saying, what's gotten into him? Master Xiao, patting his brother's shoulder, advised, Master Shang, I think we should head back now. Zhang Xuan cheerfully interjected, looks like no one is collecting our money anymore. Let's go. Shen Bai Ru followed along, her face still full of surprise, thinking, Master Zhang is really something. Just a glance, and he can discern the flaws in these dishes immediately. His poor performance at school, couldn't it be because he's cultivating to become a culinary expert? Meanwhile, our Zhang teacher was silently rejoicing. Heavenly Way Bookstore, it's got this function too. Just taste a bite and you'll know the flaws in the dishes. Truly remarkable. And so he left, with Teacher Shan hurriedly calling back, Teacher Zhang. Wait. She hesitantly said, Thank you for helping me out today. He smiled in response. No big deal at all. Bai Ru continued. This meal is thanks to the teacher's arrangement, not me inviting guests. Next time, I'll invite the teacher for a meal. Upon hearing the invitation again, Zhang Zhuan exclaimed, declining with a smile, or let's just forget about that. I still want to live a few more days. He pondered, eating a meal with a beauty isn't a bad feeling. But if I have to figure out how to deal with those pursuing me, then I won't have any free time at all. Teacher Shen struggled with her thoughts. This guy... Inviting him for a meal feels like begging one's ancestors. He waved his hand with a smile and left, saying, All right, meal's over. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave now. I'm quite busy. Having claimed to be busy, yet more trouble continued to emerge. A familiar voice spoke up. Zhang Zhuan, stop right there. Teacher Shang Bin strode over, blocking his path angrily. Today, don't even dream of leaving. Bai Ru stood between them and asked, Teacher Shang, what do you want to do? He, now forgetting his ugly demeanor, said, Teacher Shen, please step aside. This is a personal grudge between Zhang Zhuan and me. He pointed and shouted, Zhang Zhuan, if you're still a man, don't hide behind women. Face me in a duel. Zhang Zhuan shrugged in response. What's wrong with hiding behind women? That's called resourcefulness. If you have the ability, find someone to hide behind as well. Shane Bin, infuriated by these shameless words, was seething with anger. This guy completely disregarded the script, relying on women for protection, yet still had the audacity to talk so boldly, truly the epitome of hiding behind women. Teacher Zhang turned around casually, Teacher Shen, let these two troublemakers bother you, I'll leave first. Shen Bai Ru, feeling exasperated, while he remained composed, thought to himself, I'm a time traveler. I've been through unimaginable situations, yet they dare to confront me. When it comes to others' affairs, if I can avoid resolving them, I will. Seeing him leave, Teacher Chang shouted, Zhang Zhuan, stop right there. 
If I don't kill you today, I won't be Chang Bin anymore. He commanded Bao Tan Shi. A large lion slowly emerged from the darkness with a fierce demeanor, embodying the strength borrowed from Shang's ancestors. He ordered the beast beside him. Kill him. As long as you do it, I'll bring you delicious food every day. Shang Bin angrily continued, and there's also that tranquilizing pill my ancestor gave me. I can make you drink it. Teacher Shen stepped in to intervene. Shang Bin, what are you trying to do? Killing a colleague within the academy is a grave offense. He came up with a ridiculous excuse. It's Zhang Zhuan who wants to kill me. Bao Tian Shi only attacked to protect me. I'm just defending myself. Who can argue with that? Teacher Shang barked out orders. Bao Tian Shi, what are you waiting for? Attack now. The lion beside him roared ferociously and charged straight at Teacher Zhang. Shen Bai Ru, with a worried expression, was blocked by Shang Bin and called out loudly, Zhang Zhuan. As Bao Ting and Shai lunged forward, Shen Bai Ru attempted to intervene but was stopped by Shang Bin. Feeling helpless, she could do nothing but blame herself. Zhang Zhuan is in danger because of me. Seeing no reaction from the seemingly fearless teacher ahead, Shang Bin thought to himself, has Zhang Zhuan been devoured? Shang Bin smirked triumphantly at Bai Ru. Ha ha ha, he's done for. It's too late for you to act now. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. Kao Chong said, Zhang Zhuan is here. What's going on? Shang Bin, still bewildered, turned to Sao Chong. Just stick to the script this time. Why are you panicking? Sao Chong, with widened eyes and pointing ahead, replied, No, it's not that. Shang Yum Master, look over there. Shang Bin, still clueless, retorted, What's the big deal if someone dies? Then he gasped. What? Now, a very strange scene unfolded. Bao Tian Shai, once fierce and aggressive, now obediently lay in Zhang Zhuan's arms like a kitten. At this moment, Shang Bin could only stand frozen, scratching his head with a myriad of questions swirling in his mind. Bao Tian Shai, my grandfather's pet, is normally so proud and ferocious. Just a touch would make it growl. But why has it turned into such a docile little puppy in Zhang Zhuan's hands? He angrily shouted at Bao Tian Shai. What are you doing? Hurry up and kill that nuisance. Bao Tian Shai, now obedient by Zhang Zhuan's side, ignored Shang Bin's yelling, who continued to shout, Kill him now, and whatever you want to eat in the future, I'll give it all to you. Zhang Zhuan then commanded Bao Tian Shai. Enough noise, shut him up. Upon hearing this, Bao Tian Shi turned its head 360 degrees to look at Shang Bin, who trembled in fear. What you want? Suddenly, it lunged forward with fiery red eyes, claws extended, aiming for Shang Bin. With a swift swipe, Shang Bin was sent flying. Cao Chong, standing at a distance, could only watch in shock. Shang Young Master. He panicked as he ran closer. Shang Young Master, are you all right? Shang Bin sobbed silently, thinking, What is happening? You are my grandfather's pet, Zhang Xuan, now seeming like the true master of Bao Tian Shi, stroked its head and praised. Not bad, you fight well. Shen Bai Ru, bewildered and confused, couldn't understand what was happening. Zhang Xuan, how on earth did you manage to do that? He replied, How did I manage? Just like that. Zhang Xuan, with a hint of arrogance, said, Bao Tian Shai is quite easy to handle. It's probably because I'm relatively handsome. Seeing Zhang Zhuan acting so nonchalantly, Shen Bai Ru retorted, Bao Tian Shai is a wild beast. If we're talking about handsome, then we should probably look at the male Bao Tian Shai. Moreover, if we're really talking about handsome, I think Shang Bin here has much more presence than you. After saying this, Zhang Zhuan left, saying, All right, you little rascal. He commanded Bao Tian Shai. You should go back too. Zhang Zhuan smugly thought to himself, I didn't expect Heavenly Way Bookstore to even notice the flaws of a beast. Turns out this Bao Tian Shai is all bark and no bite. By identifying its weakness and dealing with it simply, it became obedient. Indeed, smart people often have their own ways. This left Shen Bai Ru with a multitude of questions. Wait, you still haven't explained why Bao Tian Shai listened to you. Zhang Zhuan turned back and replied, Senior sister, I want to live a little longer. I'm afraid that if I stay close to you, my life will be threatened too much. Please spare me. Shen Bai Ru, furious, was even scarier than Bao Tian Shi, 
senior sister? You're the senior sister here. Your whole family are senior sisters. Zhang Chuan turned and said, All right, I'll be the senior sister then. Can you let me go now? Shen Bai Ru, also charmed, giggled and changed her tone under Zhang Zhuan's ploy. Sure, you can go. I'll come find you tomorrow. Zhang Zhuan paused. What in the world? Meanwhile, at the Red Sky Pavilion, another pitiful scene unfolded. Wu, the manager, was scolded by the elder. You're so audacious, daring to alter the menu for personal gain. In the room, Wu knelt and begged the elder. Please spare me. Although I'm guilty, that guy is even worse. Saying those things in front of so many people, ruining the reputation of Red Sky Pavilion, completely disregarding your authority. The elder slammed the table in anger. Am I not allowed to speak of my misdeeds? I'll give your family five days to resolve this matter thoroughly. I might overlook your embezzlement. But don't dream of keeping your life if you fail. The elder continued furiously. Furthermore, what's the name of that scoundrel? I need to go see him. He dares to trample on the honor of our Red Sky Pavilion, who gave him the audacity. Wu stuttered. It's, it's the teacher who failed the teacher qualification exam. His name is Zhang Zhuan. The elder grew even angrier upon hearing the news. Despite his old age, his rage was so intense that he crushed the ring he was wearing. Zhang Chuan, a useless fellow, dares to trample on the dignity of Red Sky Pavilion very well. The next morning, as Zhang Zhuan walked, he pondered, such a bother. Just when I thought I could have a meal in peace, all these troubles arise. Well, I'll think of a way to break through the bottleneck. Ahead, there was a sign. Turns out, that's the sixth heaven technique of the academy. Regular teachers aren't allowed to view it. Only after obtaining the headmaster's permission can one copy a volume. Zhang Zhuan recalled, Last time, the examination was only at the triplex level. If I now go seek the headmaster's approval for the sixth heaven technique, a terrifying scene began to play out in his mind with his limbs bound. He thought, I'll surely be taken away for research like a lab rat. Zhang Zhuan seemed to be plotting something. If I'm not mistaken, the Celestial Empire City has many transactions. Perhaps even techniques are traded. He thought, if he could somehow access the Sixth Heaven technique, it might resolve many issues. He quickly rushed out, excitedly thinking, let's see what I can find outside. Maybe I can steal a few volumes. Outside the Tian Shi market, people from all walks of life bustled around. Zhang Chuan ran to the market, gazing around in bewilderment at the array of goods. It was all so unfamiliar to him, as he had been a lowly teacher with a meager salary and poor benefits. He had never been here before, which was quite common. Observing the items displayed on the tables, he pondered, I wonder if the Heavenly Way bookstore can recognize anything here. Seeing Zhang Zhuan, a vendor quickly called out, Young sir, anything you desire, you'll find it here. I guarantee satisfaction. Zhang Zhuan casually picked up a golden bell from the display and said, Just browsing. As he held up the sparkling golden bell, the vendor promptly introduced, this bell, crafted by a key cultivator, possesses extraordinary effects. It's priced at 50 gold coins. With a keen and calculating gaze, Zhang Zhuan thought, Indeed, a bell infused with Tai can produce sonic waves, inducing dizziness in humans. Recalling the books he had read before, he mused, Effective against pseudo-practitioners, crafted by a craftsman from King Yunfang. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, Please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.